In this session, we'll look at how we can use raster design to extract editable text from a scanned image. On my screen, I have some geometry that represents several property boundaries. This is data that I imported from a shape file. Let's say that I'm creating an exhibit, and part of the exhibit is going to include some data that comes from the Plata survey from these lots here in the center of the drawing. Let's also say that my plat of survey was provided as a scanned TIFF image. I'm going to start by inserting that image into model space. We'll do that by opening Windows Explorer. From here, I would navigate my hard drive to get to the folder containing that image. I can then drag and drop this image into model space. I will then click to set the lower left corner. Let me pull this out and click to set the height, and then I'll press Enter to accept the default rotation angle. If I zoom in and pan around, you can see the plat. Now, some of the data I'd like to extract from this image is the legal description here in the lower right corner. I'd rather not retype all this text if I don't have to. Fortunately, using raster design, I can convert these pixelated characters into editable text. Let's take a look. Let me zoom out. Now, the first step in doing an optical character recognition is to convert this image to bitonal. There's two steps to do that. I'm going to start by going to the Raster Tools tab, and then in the Edit panel, we'll open the Cleanup menu, and I'll choose Invert. This flips the black and white colorization. I will then go back to the edit panel. We'll open the process image menu and I'll choose change color depth. I will then come down to the command line and choose bitonal. We are now ready to extract this text. To use the OCR feature, I'm going to open the vectorize panel and then I'll come over and click the OCR button. I apologize, that's just barely on screen. I will then define the rotation angle of the text that I'm extracting. I can do that by clicking two points. Let me click one point here, and then I'll click another point here. Now that I've set my angle, I will pull down and define the area that I'd like to extract text from. We'll take this much. This brings up the Verify Text dialog box. At the top, I can see the original image, and down below, I can see the extracted text. Notice we have several icons for each view. I can use these to zoom in and out and pan around if I want to. I'd like to review this text that was extracted for suspect words. One easy way to do that is to drag the slider up and down. You'll see the suspect words are highlighted in green. Another thing I can do is just click the Find Next button. It will take me to the first word. Right here I can see the suspect word is Own Ship. From here I have the opportunity to change that word. If I open the menu you can see some of the other suggestions. Now if I click on the word, it will show me a preview of the image where that word was extracted, and I can see this really should be Township. So in this case, I'm going to select all of this text, and then I'll make the appropriate change down below. And I'll choose Replace. This takes me to the next suspect word. Now in this case, I think everything's okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. We'll scroll down and over to find that. There we go. Let me click so I can see the preview from the original image. What we have here is an unrecognized word, which makes sense because this text designates a specific panel in a flood insurance map. Now, everything here seems to match the image. Just for the sake of science, let's assume that this zero should have really been an uppercase O. If I want to, I can also edit the text right here. Let me do Shift, and we'll put a capital O in there. Once again, I'll choose Find Next. Looks like we have one more, the word Monumentation. Same as before, this is not a misspelled word, it's just a word that's not recognized. From here, if I wanted to, I could come over and click Add to Dictionary. In this case, I'm going to leave things as they are. Let me zoom out. Looks like I've got one extra issue down here. Looks like it picked up a bit of the handwriting. I'm just going to select that text and I'll press Delete to remove that. When I'm finished reviewing the extracted text, I can come down and click OK, and when I do, it's going to output this as mText using the current text style. Let me press Escape to get out of the command. I will then click to select the mText. I'll click this grip and I'll pull it over to the side here. I can then zoom in, and you can see that this text was extracted as an mText object. Let's pan down. I can even click the grip and I can adjust the column width if I want to. This is now fully editable text. Now, since we're working with the legal description and accuracy is extremely important, let me show you another technique you can use to QA, QC this text. I am going to double click to jump into the text editor and I'll press Control A to select all of this text. I'll press Control C to copy it to my clipboard. And then I'm going to bring up Microsoft Word. From here, I will press Control V to paste that text. And then I'd like this to be a little bit larger. Let me just select this and then I will change the text height here to maybe 10. 
Now, ultimately, what I'd like to do, I'm going to jump back to Civil 3D here. Let me press Escape to deselect. I'm going to pan over to the original image. What I'd like is to have Microsoft Word read that text back to me such that I can verify that it matches my legal. To do that, we'll jump back to Word. To get the application to read this text, I need to add an icon to launch that feature. I can do that by clicking the arrow here at the end of the Quick Access Toolbar. From here, I'll choose More Commands. And then in the Word Options dialog box, we'll open the Choose Commands From menu, and I'll choose Commands Not in the Ribbon. And then in this list below, I'm going to drag down until I find the Speak command. I'll select this, and I'll click Add to add that to the Quick Access Toolbar. I will then click OK. You can now see the command right here. At this point, I can Control A to select all this text. And when I click the Speak button, it will read any text that's highlighted. I can click the button again to stop it. So to finish my QA QC of this text, all I have to do is click the Speak button, minimize this application, and then follow along as the computer voice reads through the legal description. Parcel 1. That part of the northwest quarter of Section 24, Township 42 North. Range 8 east of the 3rd Principal Meridian. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.